Okay, in this video we're now ready to start looking at general solutions of trigonometric curves. I'm going to be taking each of the trigonometric functions in turn. So I'm going to start off with sine x. So we want to find the general solution of sine x equals k. So I'm going to do this in two different ways. I'm going to do it in degrees and I'm going to do it in radians. The first thing to do is to sketch sine. So in degrees, sine looks like this, between 0 and 180. Okay? Now if I'm going to solve sine x equals k, k is this value on the y-axis. And you can see that the line y equals k will intersect the curve at different points. So, if I say that, if I inverse uh, sine k, then let's call this answer alpha. So, the answer that I get is alpha. Don't know what it is, it doesn't really matter for the moment, I'm just going to use a letter for it. Then, the other solution is going to be this one here, which can be found from doing 180 take away alpha. Okay? So, we've got these two solutions. Now, if I am looking for the general solution, what that means is I want to write down an equation that will allow me to generate any solution I want. So if I want it between uh, 0 and 100 pi, or 0 and um, 3,600 degrees, for example, then I want to be able to find a way of generating all of those. Now, I've got the two answers that are going to keep recurring, the alpha and the 180 minus alpha between 0 and 360. Now, if I add 360 to that, I will get the next solutions along. So if I add 360 to both of them, I will get the next solutions along. If I take 360 away from both of them, I will get the solutions next to the left. If I add 720, so two lots of 360, I'll get the next solutions along. Or three lots of 360, the next solutions along. So I want to be able to add multiples of 360 to it. And so, we can say that x, in general, will be 360 times n, for some value of n. n could be 1, 2, 3, uh, minus 5, minus 7, whatever. So an integer, plus that value of alpha. So I'm adding multiples of 360 to alpha. And I'm adding multiples of 360 to 180 minus alpha. And these are the equations that I need to be able to work with and know. So this is the most generalised form where alpha is the solution of inverse sine of k. Okay? This will allow me to generate all the solutions I want. So, um, what about radians? It's much the same story. It's exactly the same concept. There's my value of k. Oh, and by the way, it doesn't matter if k is positive or negative here, if it's above the x-axis or below. It doesn't matter. Still the same equations. Two points, okay? The only difference here is that when I'm going to write this down, I'm still going to say that one's alpha, but x can also be pi minus alpha. And so the generalised form, if in, instead of 360, I'm now working with 2 pi, I'm going to add or subtract 
multiples of 2 pi to these solutions. So it would be 2 pi n plus alpha or 2 pi n plus pi minus alpha. So for sine, you require two separate equations okay, to find all of the solutions. So make sure you know these um, in order to solve the, these types of problems. And I'll show you an example of how it works in the next video.